What's going on? Welcome to another edition of Hustlers Kung Fu Life Skills. Today we're going to talk about what the stimulus package revealed why you need holding companies, LLCs, checking accounts to play the game. There's a lot of stuff that I've been seeing and the, the stimulus bill videos are going crazy on YouTube at the moment. They are like epidemic at the moment, what they're doing. But what one of the things I want to do is get into some of this corporate game. Get into, let me go ahead and get some more people in the room because we're going to burn it up today. We're going to talk about it. Oh. We're going to talk about it today. All right. So, we've we've got that done. All right, this edition of Hustlers Kung Fu Live was brought to you by B-School for Hustlers at www.bschoolforhustlers.com. This is going to be a very uh, pivotal live stream in terms of B-School because we're going to be talking about the art of holding in business classes. This is... Um, the whole corporate game for those of you who want to get into the holding company game get your holding companies get your operating companies and your business credit and all that this has got you you can get in this for 2500 or 12 payments of 1250 and i'm going to talk about some things that are critical to your success you see that thumbnail are your papers in order? You know, back during World War II with Jews, they would stop them and it's like, let me see your papers. And it is really interesting how here we are in America in 2020 and it's the same question. Let me see your papers. And if you don't have any papers, if your papers are not in order, you are not going to get that golden goose. So let's go ahead and chop this up. One of the things like right now, you know, if you anyone who's doing videos about the stimulus package, their channels are exploding. Clearview value went from 50,000 subscribers to uh, 300,000 subscribers in literally two weeks. So there is so, you know, and part of my reluctance to do the stimulus the video that ain't my world i'm not one of those people who are in need of a bailout or a check i'm I, that ain't my world I, I i'm like a fish out of water with that but it, it is clear that it was a missed opportunity i should have done a lot of that for savage finance but you know because the stimulus thing is going to be around and one of the things that was revealed about the stimulus thing was how many people are running businesses and don't have their papers in order. Like, I don't know how many times I have talked to you guys and said, like, look, look, you need to develop a relationship with your banker. And people are trying to go to these banks and they don't have no relationship with the bank and they're, they're mad. They're like, whoa, wait a minute, I need this PPP money. Hey, let me put my app in. And I've been telling you guys, for years, establish a relationship with your banker. You, when you walk in the bank, your banker should know who you are. And, you know, the, 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 it's like I've been seeing people pissed off going to multiple banks and doing all of this crazy stuff because they don't have a banking relationship. It is um, amazing how many folks don't have a banking relationship. 
So let's go through this in order and let's talk about what you need to do. First of all, um, I got this really long email from this dude with, um, I mean, he, he got a whole bunch going on. So this, this will be, I mean, it, 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 I couldn't even read it all. It was so long. But one of the things that you need to have in your mind is when you start your first business, you should know that you're going to get into two or three different more businesses. This is this this expands the mindset. This this gets you into a whole new paradigm. This moves you to a different level on the on the playing field. So this is why the holding company structure is so elegant and it's so and, it, and like you go ahead and you go to your bank account and you follow my directions and you open up these bank accounts. Your banker is going to look at you with a whole new level of respect because a lot of people are not running their business correctly. And also, I don't know if she's in the chat, but Honey Bunny, she actually had to be the person to get the PPP loan. I'm, not, I'm one of those loans. There's so many of them. EID. There, there's so many of them. She was the front person to get that done because see this is one of the things and this is why so many small business owners got left out they don't have in infrastructure they don't have someone that's like here you can go do this they don't have that so essentially they have to stop running their business to get on the phone and find papers and do all of this other stuff because they they have enough because their papers are not in order like, I know where all my corporate papers are. If I was going to file for this stuff and I have a relationship with not one bank, I have a relationship with three banks. That When I walk in there, they know who I am. So part of the corporate game, and this is going to be even more critical as we're going through this global reset. Right now, you're having a bunch of people who are being moved to poverty. And people who were middle class are being moved to poor. This this shuffling of economic classes is happening right before our eyes because it's going to start off with the big companies. Like it's going to take a while for the airlines. It's going to take a while for uh, the cruise ships and all of them to get. I mean, I'm talking about a few years. It's going to take them a while to get back to where they were. And. During this big shuffling, you're going to see so many people shuffled into the lower stratas of income because they don't know how to play the corporate game. And part of this is rooted in, I want to do less and get more philosophy. It's like, I don't want to manage a business. I don't want to have employees. I don't want to do this stuff. I know you talking to me, Glendon, but I don't want to do it. Uh, I want to just keep being me and you're going to keep sliding off the hill into economic chaos because uh, I'm like, because a lot of these restaurants are not going to open back up and GameStop is not going to open back up. Neiman Marcus filed for bankruptcy and Macy's may be close behind. So this is literally hundreds of thousands of people are going to permanently lose their jobs. And it's it's crazy how deep this thing is it's crazy how this thing is going and the stimulus package has revealed what is wrong with small business in america because i predicted on this channel that the big businesses were going to get the money because they have the infrastructure they have someone that's like carl you call up the bank and you get this loan for the company and carl's like i'm on it boss they don't have any infrastructure. They don't have any, they have nothing. And most small businesses are run by one or two people. And I'm, I'm telling you, hold on a second. So in the effort to get your corporate papers together, you need to go ahead and get on that art of holding to get your stuff together because um, 
the first thing you got to do is because uh, essentially there's one person at the bank who can get your LLC, you know, your company paperwork set up. And they're, they're, they ain't even going to take you walking in with a copy of your LLC. They're going to go to the Secretary of State and they're going to pull down the paperwork themselves. And just to verify that you're legit, that's just part of their training. So once you get that going, if you're like, you know, let's say, let's say I haven't done this because I, I don't really need business credit for my business. Um, but if I were, I would go to Wells Fargo and let me, let me see if they still have it. <laughs> Cause you know, I made, I made Wells Fargo secured business credit card. All right. Looks like Wells Fargo still has Wells Fargo. All right. All right. Here we go. The Wells Fargo business secured credit card. Now, I want you guys to listen to me. If you are a new business owner and you got to get your corporate checking, go to Wells Fargo and you can start this business credit card with 500 bucks. This is going to start your corporate credit. Now, let, let's talk about business credit. So many people want to get business credit on their name. Don't want to put no money down. Don't want to play the game. And essentially, unless you have a corporation that's got years of tax returns, you're going to have to do a personal guarantee. Just let that go. You're going to have to do a personal guarantee. But go to Wells Fargo. Set up your business checking accounts and put five thousand dollars to get this card rolling. And also, if you um, are really a big baller, get it up to twenty five k, and don't use it. Barely use it. You know, buy some coffee, buy some gas, or something on it. And after a year, this should graduate into a unsecured line of credit which you then can use in terms to get other ones because also your your business credit lines work pretty much like your personal credit lines if you're not if you're going to get a whole bunch of low 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 small credit lines that's what you you know small credit lines beget small credit lines so you go ahead and max this bad boy out get a twenty five thousand dollar limit and you will be able to get larger limits for your business. And this is how you start your business checking and banking. Because see, what you want to do is go in there where they actually know who you are. There's a lot of things that happen at a branch level that you don't know. Like, I guarantee you for this payroll protection, parole, I guarantee you there was someone that's like, hey, Ed, it's John. What's up, John? Hey, can you reserve a spot for me? Sure, no problem. Guaranteed that happened because relationships matter. And a lot of you don't have a banking relationship with no banks. And, you know, on Savage Finance, I was talking about the number of folks who do not have a checking account. You need to get yourself a real checking account. I know there are people out there with messy financial lives. You need to clear that up and start a banking and getting in the system. Um, you, this is what you need to do. But to get your papers in order, and that, that's just one way to get started where you can start developing a banking relationship and you can start developing a business credit relationship fairly easily because there are many people here on YouTube that are talking about getting business credit, people going out and getting all these credit. Because see, here I give you the information on how to build your business because here's the really big problem with getting business credit and having no experience. The chances of you messing up are so great and this is why I recommend that everyone starts a service business or a small business, you know, and I get this in the comments all the time. Hey, Glennon, I got 5,000, I got 10,000, I got 20, I got 30, I got, I was like, put your money in the bank, player. Get yourself some experience before you start borrowing money. And no one else says this. It's just like, hey, we're, we're getting all this funding, we're getting all this credit. 
credit and funding without experience equals bankruptcy. I have seen it a million times where, like I said, if you're an American with a 750 credit score and you got the right knowledge, you can get up to $150,000, $200,000 in credit lines if you know what to do. But let's say you want, you want to get in real estate, okay? 150, that's just literally one property. Or you could play the leverage game and then turn that into four or five properties but after that, you kind of tapped out. So get yourself some experience before you start borrowing money. Because once you get the experience, then you have a better idea where to put that money. Because right now, like I'm, I'm running Facebook ads and they're cheap. They're cheap. And I actually got to do some more ads this week. Because uh, I'm running a lot of different projects and a lot of campaigns. But one of the things is you got to play this corporate game if you want to win in America. This is the game that you need to be playing. Because so many folks, like I, I keep seeing these stimulus check, these stimulus package videos and all the people who are applying for these like Chase, once the money ran out, Chase has a hundred thousand hundred thousand applications. So as soon as Chase gets their second reload of money, it's already gone. It's already gone. These folks have already filed the application. They're in line. That money is already gone. It's already gone. And the people who need the money the most are the most uninformed and don't have the financial sophistications to get it. That's what's really because uh, their, their corporate papers are not in order. They, they're not, their business. Uh, one of my consulting clients, I had to do a complete rebuild of his business persona. He had one, he had two checking accounts and he had a staff of twenty five. And he had ran into some issues because I, I predicted some stuff before you told me. He said, yeah, that happened. I was like, all right, you, you got to segment your checking. You got to segment your income. And never, ever, as a business owner, let your employees ever get in, the, in their heads that they may, their, their payroll check may bounce. You don't want that. What, once, all it takes is once, and they going to start looking at you side eyes. And they, I mean, you're going to have an additional management chore to assure these people that they're going to get paid on payday. That is the worst thing in the world as an employee. You know, you putting in work, you doing what you need to do. Then your payroll, your paycheck don't put cash. Dude, talking about somebody hot, talking about somebody getting hostile. So never, ever let your employees paychecks be in jeopardy. That money is sacrosanct. You put that money where in their in the payroll or checking account, you don't touch it, you let it, you don't ever want that to happen. You don't ever want that to happen. But there are so many people whose corporate papers are out of order. Because I I'm looking like the, the stimulus check things, like if you start a new YouTube channel, start doing videos on the stimulus check, stimulus package, your channel will explode. And that illustrated to me just how. Um, what a bad position so many people are in. That really opened my eyes because I knew that America was poor. I knew that. I knew that a lot of half America don't make no money. I knew that. But this thing has opened my eyes to just how bad off America is because people are going for this money like crackheads. Like someone dropped some crack on the ground and they are they're jumping on it they are jumping on it so another thing with getting your corporate papers in order you got to have some ambition man you know because i get so many people it's like what should i do you should have three or four things that you want to do you should have your main thing and then some additional things like when i was doing storage auctions i had an online website selling new furniture I was doing storage auctions. I was doing Craigslist. I was selling new furniture. You, you want to have a lot of things going on. 
after you, you know, the main thing was the storage auctions. The storage auctions was the catalyst for everything. And that really got us rolling and kept, kept the money coming in. But you, you got to get your corporate papers in order. And one of the ways for you to get your corporate papers in order is to sit down and write down what type of business that you want to run, what type of situation that you want to set up, what type of money you want to make. Because I'm about to tell you something. Your income dictates where you live, how you live, what you eat, and who you will marry. That's all predicated by your income. Unless you're a hot chick, then you can you can be broke and you can you can marry a billionaire. It's just how it is. But as a dude, it it matters greatly. It matters greatly. But one of the things that about having your papers in order, one of the things is you, you've got to you got to play this game. And I'm, I'm here to tell you, I, I've watched many YouTube videos where people are talking about I have a business. I couldn't get this. And I'm just le- reading the comments. So it's like you don't have a relationship with your banker. You don't have your checking account set up correctly. I'm just going to see all of this stuff. It's just because essentially this is a massive crisis for many, many people. And you've got so many people who are out of sorts who never actually set their business up correctly because, you know, we've had the conversation before about these um, weak LLCs that many people have out there where they're essentially, um, they're not real LLCs. And one of the reasons that you have a legal zoom is most of these folks know that they know that majority of these LLCs, these what I call these toothless, hollow LLCs they create, most people ain't going to do nothing with them. Most people are not going to make any big money. Most people are not going to get in harm's way. And part of that conversation is how, how big is your ambition? Because, you know, like right now I'm running ragged because I got some crazy ambitions because I'm getting ready to do some stuff. But how big is your ambition? What do you want to set up? What do you want to put together? How much money do you want to make? You want to drive a Porsche? You want to drive a Hellcat? You want to drive a Tesla? Tesla? What do you want? What's your ambition? Because one of the things that I'm like in Savage Finance, uh, I did this video talking about financial self-defense. And playing the corporate game and getting your corporate papers together is a form of financial self-defense. Many people and most of these personal finance channels are playing passive personal finance. You have automatic deductions. Ooh. What about you getting intentional with your money? What about you getting intentional about your investments? What about you putting your hands on your investments? How about that? All this passive stuff, this is one of the reasons that it takes so long to get rich through investing. It literally takes decades to get rich in the stock market. Now, to better do that, to do that than do nothing at all, I'm not knocking it. But what I'm saying is, if you have a faster path to get there, you can get rich in a decade starting your own business versus decades of being in the stock markets. So, you know, this this is one of the things that we're going to talk about because you got to play the corporate game, man. You got to play the corporate game. And like I tell all my young men, if you young, single, have no kids, this is the time for you to get your corporation going. This is the time for you to build some stuff. <clears throat> Don't wait until you get married and did a kid. Then all of a sudden, that fire goes off in you. It's like, yeah, I got to do something. I got I got some kids. I got to take. No, no. You should be in that, that mindset before the children. You should be in that mindset before you meet the woman who will be your wife. You, you should be in that mindset because when you're in that mindset, you're going to create a totally different kind of family. 
your wife is going to respect you on a whole different level because she's going to know she's dealing with someone, a man of substance, talent, and ambition. It's going to be a whole different ball game. It's going to be such a different way that you go at it. And, you know, this is why, you know, because for a lot of you, you don't really know what you want to do when you grow up. You don't know what kind of business you want. You, you're looking at like the Shopify dropshipping YouTubers crack me up because what they're doing, uh, they're doing stuff to get views and understand why they're doing it. Like I'm doing Forex for a week. That gets views. I'm doing day trading for a week. It gets views. I'm doing t drop shipping on TikTok for 24 hours. None of all this stuff is predicated on speed, speed. You don't build a real business that fast. This stuff is just for YouTube. It's not for real, you know, because if you think that you're going to set up a Dropify, a, 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 a Shopify drop shipping store, and then 30 days, you're going to be making 100 K. You are, are boo boo the fool. I mean, you, 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 you and Boo Boo are real close. You and Boo Boo, y'all are, <laughs> y'all are very close. Um, that's funny that my volume just automatically turned itself on. But one of the things about creating the, the art of holding is you have a plan for long-term success. You're not trying to be successful in like this whole 30 days, um, like, you know, Billie Jean, I love to do, but the whole 30 day challenge, you get you rolling, get the people the easy course. There, there's another course that needs to happen is like, how do you get customers? Because I'm going to tell you how Billie Jean gets customers. Billie Jean gets customers the same way I do. He gets customers through inbound marketing. It's a totally different animal than you picking up their phone hello this is pablo yes i want to run your facebook ads yes i've had you know essentially you're going to have to create a content marketing strategy and device to get customers which takes time you're not going to create a content marketing strategy in less than six months that's how fast, that's how long it took me to sell my first product on YouTube. It took me six months from the time that I started the YouTube channel and I put up a ton of videos. I put up a ton of videos. And, you know, that, that's why, you know, there's B-School for Hustlers and then there's Hustlers Kung Fu because starting a business the regular way you can start a service business and make money the same day you start a service business. You start in the digital business, you got a few months or a year or two before you start making money. And no one actually tells that and breaks it down to you because it's like, you can start a job, for one, stop. And also, this is something else that I've noticed with my Facebook ads. And I don't know if this is new, but I've got my budget set high, but Facebook is only spending a little money in every day after I make a payment, they raise my threshold. I don't know if this is something new, but because, you know, I, I got one of them open wide and it, it, it just doesn't get a lot of traffic and it's starting to get traffic because uh, every day, because essentially if you if and this, just put this out here, if you if you're brand new to Facebook marketing, they're going to have to earn you. They're going to have to trust you because they're going to start you off at twenty five bucks. Then they're going to hit your account for 25. Then they're going to move it to 50. They're going to move it to 75. Matter of fact, let me see where is my Facebook at the moment. Let's see. Well, uh, hold on a second. Y'all need to watch this video. Let's 
that's the uh, financial self-defense. Y'all need to check that out. So let me see what my Facebook is doing at the moment. Because I'm getting ready to run a lot of ads on Facebook. And I'm actually going to start. Because I'm doing Facebook right now. And then next month, I'm going to start running ads um, on YouTube. And let's see. I got one campaign that seems to be going really well. And another campaign that's getting more and more expensive. It's... um. It's very interesting. It's very interesting. Let me see what my settings are. So my threshold is now 400 bucks. I've been running ads for a week. So it took me a week to go from 25 to 400. Because uh, you can try to manage your threshold and crank it up. But until Facebook knows that you're going to pay them on a consistent basis, they ain't trusting you. It's taken me a week to go from 25 to $400. And I'm just running testing ads right now. I'm not really into any heavy duty stuff because I'm running a lot of tests. And this is kind of the thing when you're building a long-term business. You're going to run a lot of tests. You're going to deploy a lot of things out there because the difference between a service business, a.k.a. hustle, because you can have a hustle of washing cars. Literally, you can post up in the same spot every Saturday, hang up a sign. You will get business. You will make money. But turning that hustle into a business, that's a whole different thing. That's a whole nother animal. That is um, something totally different. But the, the whole stimulus package revealed why there are so many businesses that are not set up correctly. They don't have their corporate structure together. And this shows with going for this money because, once again, I said on this YouTube channel that once the Small Business Administration got involved, it wasn't going to go the way that they had put it out. And I was precisely right. And people and a lot of folks were like, well, you don't have a relationship with this bank, so you can't put an application. See, there is Congress, the CARES Act. There's the SBA. And there's each one of these individual banks. And as you go down the chain, more complexity <laughs> enters into this. Like, I knew it was going to be like this. And most of the people who have applied for this payroll protection, these grants, they haven't got a dime. And the money's gone. Money's gone. So you got to be on top of your game if you're going to play, try to get some free money out of the government through these, uh, these the CARES Act. Because part of setting up your corporate lifestyle is knowing what you want. Because right now, you know, I see a lot of people who are interested in trucking because of the money. They're not interested in being, you know, and honestly, being a truck driver is a hard life. You know, it's a hard life, you know, being on the road, gone, sleeping in your truck. That, that is not glamorous at all. And so many people want to get into it because, you know, trucking companies make money. They make a lot of money. But they're not, I mean, they're just jumping into it for the money. And I guarantee you, it's going to be really strange. It's, it's, they're going to create a job that they hate. Because, you know, if you're going to own a truck company, part of the landscape is you're going to have revolving drivers. They're going to be in the seat. They're going to be out the seat. They're going to be in the seat. There's a new person. And this whole notion of that these guys don't have checking accounts and you got to go to the Western Union to pay them. Whoo. That's just crazy. That's just crazy. You know, when I had my employees, everybody had a checking account because they got they got direct deposits. Everyone got direct deposits. So that, that that's just really crazy for me to see and to understand. 
But one of the things that you've got to know and understand is this corporate game is real. This is how Ruth's Chris got 20 million. This is how the, the Burger Shack got 10 million. The corporate game is real. And if you're going to play the corporate game, you're going to get those corporate results. And that's why so many people got left out in the cold on this money because they, know, know, they didn't know how to play the corporate game. They just didn't. So let me go ahead up in these comments. And, you know, if it's buffering, that's YouTube, man. YouTube has more people on the platform than ever before. It is crazy. So let me go up in this comments. What's up, the art of seminary? Be about your business. Yep, yep, yep. What's up, people? What's up? All right, Christopher Hayes, appreciate that. <laughs> What's up, Nathan? What's up, Romero? Kevin Davis, the stimulus clickbait is the microwave. Um, the stimulus thing is going to be around for a minute. It ain't going to disappear for a minute. It's going to be around for about a few months. Juni, wait, people still walk in the banks? Absolutely. Absolutely. Christopher Lyles, that's a whole different video. Go to Savage Finance. I know, Grant. I know. Well, exist in nature. The small businesses don't have the infrastructure. Like Honey Bunny, the company she worked for, she was the front person to get the stimulus money, and she had to vote a lot of time. See, this, this is one of the things you don't understand. That once you have a corporation and you have departments and divisions, you can get more stuff done because you can put people on a task versus you trying to do it yourself. I heard about Richard Branson. They play it with people's emotions pretty much, pretty much. All right, T. Leah Browsers. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Junie, yeah, uh, this is one of Wells Fargo's because Wells Fargo apparently got rid of their secured personal credit card, but they still have the secured business credit card. And, all, uh, you know, essentially with that, once you get one unsecured business card, you can get because that's good because they're going to report that to your Experian. They're going to report that to um, God Dunn and Bradstreet. They're going to report that to all the important bureaus. So. When it comes time for you to get your next card, you already got a reference. And here's something else that people don't know. Cash, $10,000 to $20,000 in the checking account is a credit reference, if you did not know. All right, textbook, get that business straight. Charlton, you got the $1,000, all right. Maurice Anderson, Walmart's making a killing from people who don't have a checking account. That's crazy. Yeah, Ben, because I, 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 the thing is, you got to get experience running your business before you start getting money. Because how many times have we seen like um, Damon John... Ashton Kusher and some other celebrity got together and put seven million into this business and it failed. We had a celebrity, we had a, a vetted businessman, and they thought the star power was going to work and it didn't work. Pretty much.
Winston Davis. The webinars will start next month. Oh, there's going to be so much animosity and hate when this is over. I mean, people, you know, people are emotionally spent. They're financially tapped out. They're stressed. I mean, it's, it's going to be a mess. Pretty much ready, set, well, employees get paid even if you don't. <laughs> Steve Jameson, they will revolt. Nope. I mean, I don't need credit for my business. I really don't. James Jones, gee, you're exactly right. I started the business back in 2007 and business credit was easy to get. I had no experience handling business finances and it took a long time to fix everything I messed up. Like uh, someone that put out that someone took their $10,000 P your EIDL grant and bought a truck versus stuff for their business. Humans, man, humans. Exist in nature. Yeah, I know they're opening up the state of well, Georgia and Texas and all the states are going to open up. Let, let me just go ahead and give you the reason why they have done the math. There is no way that they can keep paying all of these unemployment claims that they're coming in. They literally the unemployment claims have literally broke the system. They have broken the system. And with the anticipation of another month of this. Another month of this is going to be literally another 20 million people on unemployment. And these state funds are going to start running out of money. Then they're going to go to the government. And then the government is doing this dance. Uh, they want to create more stimulus package. We're talking like, you know, the math on this phantom $2,000 per month deal for six months is $5 trillion just for that. Just to give every American over the age of 16, $2,000 a month is $5 trillion for six months. Just that, nothing else. And, you know, once you start looking at, like, we already just did $2.2 trillion, and then we're going to do another trillion. How much can we mortgage the future? And there, this is, you're going to start seeing all these states. And the hot zones going to be opening up, trying to get people back to work. Mr. 20 Vision, that, that is crazy, but there have been people in those situations. Thanks for the ten dollars. And there we go. Wavy like Wayne. Uh, hopefully you've been watching this and you need to make some determinations. What other type of business are you going to form? John Shaft. There are many credit unions that open up business checking accounts. So check there. Well, I mean, it's it's more than pleasing business owners. This whole notion that this unemployment, the unemployment keeps ramping out. The money's just going to run out.
I've been seeing a lot of crappy Facebook ads. Facebook ads are cheap. A lot of people pull back on their Facebook spending, so the ads are cheaper. Well, Barter Dash, if you brought, I don't want a broad audience. See, this is the thing. My audience is the people who, because I'm getting what I want. I'm getting the results I want. If I got my audience really broad and I started putting Facebook ads before people who didn't give a damn, yeah, you know, yeah, that, that would be crazy. But, um, no, I don't think that because when I got wide open and the audience is pretty broad and they're still not spending. How do I stay focused? I have list. <laughs> That's what keeps me focused. Yeah, I mean, that that's one of the things that's holding me back. It's a brand new ad account and it's only like a week old. And until I prove to Facebook that I that they're going to get paid, they're not going to they're not going to spend a lot. Come sell with me. I had bank with Wells for years. Business bank and had no issue. They have issues with the Fed? I did not know that. All right. Process for profits. Any service business that you are, have an ambition to run. They also denied people EDL due to credit, which are not supposed to be considered. Once again, let's listen to your hustling godfather. I told you once the small biz SBA got involved, the stuff was going to change. And I just was letting you know that you weren't going to get that $10,000 player. It wasn't going to happen. Textbook, I have no clue. Killer B, the larger corporations will always be ahead. Well, a small business with a good team could be in the same position. Mr. Quimerson, yep, uh, Craigslist, everything, everything's about to open up. People are tired of sitting at home. People about to get out and mingle. And many people have this mindset, if I catch it, I catch it. That's where people are right now. Yeah, Mr. 2020 vision of the truck and lifestyle ain't for the faint at heart. And also... If you go out and you buy a truck and you start hiring drivers, get ready for you're going to be like herding cats in the wheelbarrow. Get ready for it. I was able to get 500K from my EDL from the SBA. Good for you. Vegas is going to open up. EDL is based on credit score. The real estate market is going to tank. Right now, because 2020, 2021, you should be able to scoop us from real estate real cheap because we have all these people who've taken out the forbearance. There's a lot of gotchas with that. We have all these people who have our Airbnb properties. They're losing money hand over fist. 
And then we have all these people who are unemployed who cannot qualify for real estate loans. The real estate market's going to be really, really cheap 2021. I know, Romero, a lot of people buying these trucking courses and buying trucks and they don't have management experience. And that's that's what that's why some of these large trucking companies are going out of business because they got too much debt and bad management. Mr. Stack, pretty much. Pretty much. Jesse, you can experiment with Facebook ads for 20 bucks a day. And guess what? My sister's small business, two employees, actually got an SBA grant of 5K pending on her account. She's in Florida. Well, Charlatan, who's a single uh, person, he got a thousand bucks today. There, there are a lot of there. I mean, there's some people getting the money, and a lot of people are not getting the money. Thank you, Tracy. <laughs> That's right. The red tape with the SB is unreal. Pretty much. Well. Alan, you know, Billy Jean, you know, because going ahead, like uh, I'm taking the Facebook ads course. I've been taking it. And, you know, if you're going to run ads for your own product, that's totally different. But I can tell you as a business owner, business owners are hard to get the attention of a business owner. And that's the whole point. If you're running the Facebook ads agency, you're going to have to be a lead generation monster. You're going to have to be a cold calling fool to get people to spend money with you. Because that's how that that's that's just the grind of running that kind of agency. And you know, if you're not built for hello, this is Pablo's Pablo's Facebook ads agency. I can make you some money, man. If you you don't have that that gift of gab on the phone, woo. Uh, Nathan, if I do the condo deal at 20, 25 a month will include. Now I'm not, I'm going to teach you how to set up your own holding company. I'm not going to be setting up the holding company. If that's the question you're asking, I'm going to teach you how to set it up, how to set up your operating company, how to set up your business checking. I'm going to teach you, you're going to have to do work. Uh, I'm not doing, cause if, if I was that crazy, I'd be charging $5,000 to do all that because that's a lot of work because I got to interface with you. I got to ask you a bunch of questions. Then I got to prepare the articles of organization and it, and I, that, that, that doesn't help me scale the way that I want to scale. So that's why I don't do a lot of done for you stuff. But essentially once you get this information, you will um, be good for life. And I'm going to start doing some art of holding business classes. I need to set that up and put those emails out. Oh, Facebook ads is really quirky because uh, one of the things I learned is I, I had a few ads that were disapproved and I just request review and they all got approved. So there's, you know, it, it, it's wild. It, it's really, really wild. But this is my first week with Facebook ads. So I've I spent maybe a thousand bucks and I've gotten my fan page up to almost 3000 likes. And I've got some other I've got some other ads running and I've got some plans to create some more ads.
Malik, no payments for the first year. So you got the loan, not the forg the money that's going to be forgiven, Malik. Rugged collars, I actually have no clue to what's going to happen next. It's just a wild ride. Process, someone tried to book my Airbnb in Vegas. Really? Ernest Ball, managing people is not is another joke. My first time with 12 employees is like I had 12 kids. That's what's the thing that gets people because, like, you can get the business credit and you can go out and buy the assets like trucks, but can you manage truckers? That's going to be, that's going to determine if your business is successful or not. And that's one of the things that many people don't talk about. Ori is said, I got approved for my loan too. Yeah, it's a game. It's either you play the game or the game plays you. That's your choices, and most people are being played by the game. Textbook, yes, trucking makes money, but you also have to look at your repair expenses. The business credit would be a big part. John Schaff, my son bought four trucks, didn't last two years, already out, truck sitting. The, the, this, this is what's going to happen to a lot of people who are buying these trucking courses. They're, they're not experienced operators. <clears throat> Let's say you get a truck driver who's been on the road for five years, and he knows how to drive a truck. He knows how to navigate that. Then this truck driver goes out, and he gets four or five trucks and he's got four other drivers to manage and he has no management skills. It ain't going to work. <laughs> it's just not going to work. All right, Melvin, you got you 2K. Congratulations. Kevin Davis, there's running ads, developing a skill, then there's selling that skill. How are you going to market and sell that skill? <laughs> Pretty much. <clears throat> Terry M. Williams has said similar. Very hard to get the attention of the main person. Better to reach out to their staff, the trusted crew around them first. Uh, one of the things that I did to get to the decision maker was I started calling at 6 o'clock in the morning. Because usually those dudes, the serious dudes were in the office and you can get them. But it's very hard to get the person who could say yes. And this, this is, this, that's a skill set within, within itself. James first, when I drove for Dark for a couple of years, they made you get an escrow account for repairs, really? Yes, dude's going to do it. Alan Iverson, yes, a lot of stuff has got to be on sale, Alan Anderson. No, I just started paying. I, I did not use a voucher. Desi Marie, do you have to have an attorney to work out the holding and operating? Not really. You, if you know what to do, you can do it yourself. No, uh, LinkedIn. Actually, I did do some advertising on LinkedIn and I was selling my money management course. I'm probably going to go back to that. 
Yeah, Nathan Justin, it will teach you exactly what to do. Xavier, yeah. Facebook ads are cheap, and I'm going to find out how cheap YouTube ads are next. Yep, I'm all, that's all I'm running. I'm running video ads. I'm not doing any type of ads. Uh, I'm getting stuff at 26 cents. I've got one ad that's running. It's getting me conversions at 18 cents. Last time I did it, I mean, it, it, it was like damn near a dollar. Pretty much, there's a lot to the trucking game. There's so much to the trucking game. And this is why I'm not in the trucking business. I just know I can analyze it pretty well. All right, wave like Mike. Chaos is a ladder. Some people fall off that ladder, man. Pretty much, this is an excellent time to start a business. Xavier Molney, Dojo Bond, exist, existing trucking routes are the best way to get in the trucking industry. Trucker DT the runner. Some of us truckers don't need to be managed. It's a matter of respecting the real ones who put in the work. I've been on the road for a year straight. My boss stiff up me for 15K. <laughs> God. Uh, Green Machine, you should start your holding company in the state you live in. We will see what YouTube ads are. Well, we will see. So there, there, there's a whole bunch of things, but I'm just here to tell you that you got to get into the corporate game. I mean, my time in business environments many, many years ago, that education that I got there, because all these cats drove luxury vehicles that were paid off. All these cats had corporations and they knew how to play the game and they taught me the game. Going forward, I mean, America is about to become very different. Very, very different. And you're going to have people who, who know how to play the game, and you're going to have people who are getting played by the game. So, you know, it's because it's, essentially, if you're in the position where you have cash, this is the time to advertise like a madman because, you know, I realize what Facebook is doing, so I'm just going with it. I should be up and running the way I want to in about three to four weeks doing what I need to do. Um, and, you know, because the thing is, this is this experience because I had one ad that's working pretty well. Um, and I got another ad that's working pretty well. And I'm going to keep experimenting because, you know, essentially sitting down and creating ads takes time and uh, planning so essentially i try to do two or three ads a day 
like I didn't do any today. I'll probably do three or four ads tomorrow because, you know, the approval process. So, you know, th there's a whole bunch of stuff, but you, you got to got you got to get into the corporate game. And also. There's a new there's, there's going to be more stimulus money. More stimulus money's coming. Well, I think the Senate's approved it. I think it's still got to go to the House and Donald's got to sign it. But more than likely, that's going to get through. And that money is pretty much already gone. Because, you know, if you, you don't have your application in, if you're not on the waiting list, you, you're still behind. You're still behind. But one of the things that I want you guys, because the corporate game changed my life. There are so many things you can do with the corporate game if you're not scared. Like, this is something that's become like uh, on Savage Finance. I got, there's a picture of me holding a shotgun. And someone's like, you're acting like a white person with guns. And I grew up with guns. I grew up hunting, shooting birds and stuff with the BB gun. I grew up with guns. There ain't no, see, you, you got to let that stuff go. Because if you, you're like, well, you know, you're trying to be white. You know how I feel about people who get caught up in that stuff. Because then you're going to miss out on a lot of opportunities by having a limited mindset. But the, the corporate game is so clean. And one of the things I'm going to start doing, and, you know, because if you notice, I've changed up how I do the live streams. Like, I'll just do a period where I will talk and I'll get to the comments in the last part of the live stream because, you know, just going on data, I know that most people watch like 20 to 25 minutes of a recorded live stream. So I'm just seeing if I can push that even more by not going into the conversation with people in the comments. But the corporate game cannot be ignored. You know, a lot of people are crying foul that all these corporations got all this money, but I knew they would. And see, once you learn how to play the game and start setting up your company, you can start winning. Because you should have at least two to three business accounts at two to three different banks. And this is something that a lot of people don't know. Because if you have a problem with one bank, you've got this relationship with this other bank, you know, what one bank won't do, another bank will. Pretty much. Yeah, Billy Jean puts out really good commercials. You know, the, the wolf of Wall Street and the high production value and stuff. But Billie Jean is selling a product and that's what you need to do. All right. So what I'm going to do, I'm not going to do 50 percent off. Well, I think I think I did 50. Per, I'm not going to do 50 percent off on the payment plan, but I'm probably going to do 50 percent off. Because I got to check and see, see if I've done that already. But it won't be off the payment plan. And then we're going to get into a lot of courses and stuff. Because I got to start activating the email list. And I got to give people lead times. Because, you know, I'm such a let's get it done tonight. And that's just too fast for most people. So I need to set up some corporate training. I need to set that up. So if you're on the email list, if you bought a course, you will get an email because I'm going to work on that. All right. All right. All right. So we went a little long, but that's all I got for you guys today. I will talk to you later.